Hello everyone, welcome back to the .NET office. In this video, we are going to discuss about the attribute binding in Angular 15. So attribute binding is also a one-way data binding just like the property binding and the string interpolation. Interpolation binding and property binding deal with component class property to HTML element property and not attribute. Now for an example, like if you want to uh, like any uh, DOM element which does not have the property binding and that has the attribute then in that case we go with the attribute binding so let's understand this attribute binding with an ex example so let's go to the visual studio and here like currently this is obviously a uh, string interpolation now here what i'm going to do i'm going to take a one table now in this table like let's uh, first define the border so border i have defined as in one now here what i'm going to take i'm going to take the head so for it's basically to use the uh um, to use the headers now next what i'm going to do inside this let's take th and here i'm saying student info so this is the header i have taken now the body inside this one i will take td and inside this td i'm going to take like the name and with this td what i will do i will say td and so now for showing the name basically what we will do we will uh, take some property here so first name so let it be the first name and then age i'm going to take as in 20 and uh, what else we can take the gender so just take as in so these are the uh, some property i have like variable i have defined now let's copy all this and put it so we have to use the variable then i'm using the interpolation just similar uh, to this one now like i have taken the td and this and obviously it will come inside the tr so the tr we forgot to put here so now let's take this so uh, so what i have done uh, i have uh, used the tr now let's take one more tr and uh, here what i'm going to do is basically like this is for uh, i'm just taking this is for age and let's put the age now let's this is for gender and here what we have given capital if you want the format then we have the format document so this i have given now if you will go on the browser and see it will show the table and we have seen like this student info is coming in the first column it is not call span so if you want to set and like i want to show the value then what we have to do we have to use the call span if i want to show this value to here so for uh, that like what we have to do here in the student info in this what i will use i will use the call span in if i will say two so if you will go on the browser it is coming in that way like student info like it is basically call span so if we have worked with the html you know the meaning of the call span what is the use of it is basically combined if I, I have given here two means for all those columns it will be combined so this is the way it is now here we can see call span is basically an attribute it's not a property so i want to set this two value like currently we have given the static uh, but i want like constant value but i want to take this value from the component then how i can uh, set this value here so what i have to do is we have to set the value so here what i'm going to do i'm going to take call span and uh, let's assign as it two so this is the one way now we have to use it so for using the attribute what we have to do is basically like we have to use the attribute keyword so how we can do so here let's take a double t r and it will be in big bracket so let's keep the big bracket a double t r call span and like this now this call span variable we will use in the single quotes like this now if you will save this one if you will go on the browser we will see it is uh, giving the output as expected so if you will run it 
so this is the way like if we have to define the attribute then we have to use the attribute keyword like a double tr dot call span without that it will not work so for uh, using the attribute in the angular side first we have to use the big bracket then a double tr keyword then what attribute you are going to set and this is the component value which we have set here so this is the way we use the attribute binding in angular so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you